showcase. So tonight we're going to come together, we're going to gather, and we're going to celebrate the accomplishments of the students that you see before you. Again, we have 15 students, and this is a very special night as we celebrate the seniors who have completed a year-long endeavor. As many of you in the audience know that our students even took up to a year and a half to complete their projects because they started earlier last year, which is amazing. So armed with the guidance of their mentor, or two in some of these cases, these projects required a self-directed learner, and at times they had to dig a little deep, they had to work through some adversity, but what you see before you are some truly amazing students. This process has offered a personalized learning experience, and tonight we're going to showcase those talents. As you know, we strive to ensure that each student who graduates from Londonderry High School is college and career ready, and tonight you will see that evidence. What you see before you are 15 inventors, creators, <coughs> upcyclers, artists, fundraisers, facilitators, competitors, and designers. But most importantly, with only a 30-hour requirement that they had to put towards their projects, these students worked over 743 hours, which is truly amazing. Tonight, we're going to recognize each senior. They're going to explain a little bit about their project, and then they're going to call their mentor up. And again, thank you, your mentor. Um, and if we're ready, we're going to hear from our principal, Mr. Parent, and then we'll hear from our superintendent, Mr. Greenberg. Good evening. First, I'd like to thank and congratulate you 15 seniors on a very successful and very uh, some very ambitious projects you continue to carry the torch of everything that we've envisioned for senior project your creativity as Ms. Sloper said ingenuity um, commitment to the research that you had to prepare and then the finished product is, is just unbelievable our senior senior week really highlights social celebrations we've had our class trip and our senior supper um, it highlights our academics, obviously, our scholarships, awards, and it ends with commencement. This night, and it usually kicks off senior week, is a major highlight of what we most value at Lunder High School, which is academics. Uh, the senior project, as Ms. Lopert mentioned, is a culmination of, of everything that you've learned throughout your schooling. Being independent thinkers, conducting substantial research, showcasing creativity, and hopefully creating something that's gonna have a long-lasting impact on our high school and on the community. The projects you complete continue to push, push the standard of excellence we've established with this elective. And I, I'm just amazed by what you've put together. And I sincerely hope our underclassmen will carry forth some of your efforts uh, as you leave your legacy here. You've made your family and friends and staff in this administration very, very proud. Uh, I want to thank Ms. Slover for her first year. She uh, provided tremendous leadership for this group with the mentors. And um, again, she, I think, helped you take the idea that you had back in the fall and make it a reality. So I'd like to give the slope right hand. <laughs> the seniors set the tone for our entire high school and our entire school year. So I also want to thank them for being the leaders that you are, for continuing uh, this wonderful tradition of Lundary High School. So once again, thank you. Congratulations on a remarkable job. It is now my pleasure to introduce the superintendent of the London School District, Mr. Nathan Weaver. Seniors, congratulations. The projects are absolutely, truly outstanding. You've all done a fine job. I also want to thank our mentors for all the work that you did with our seniors during this past year. And in the year, even the year before. Uh, I have now learned that I do not want to go third in talking about all the wonderful things that have gone on. As Mr. Parent and Mr. Sloper went through every item that I had on. <laughs> but what I'd like to do, what I think is really a major carryaway, is in the, the opportunity I had to talk to a number of our students about the projects and the enthusiasm that they exhibited the knowledge that they talked about that they gained, the ability to collaborate and go out into the real world and talk to the people who are quote unquote experts in the field and how they were able to take that information in and translate that into their vision that they had come up with. 
That's the way the real world works. That's the way they will have to work when they leave us and go on either to a job, a career, college, or the service. So we want you to know that we are extremely impressed with all the work that you did. And one of the key things I think you may want to take away from it, aside from your problem solving skills and interpretation and reasoning, is the fact that you were persistent, that you had the grit to continue along. And even though you may have hit bumps in the road, you were able to rethink the process, you go back, rework it, and come up with a solution. Fantastic job, congratulations. And parents, thank you for sending these children to us. Have a good day.
So there was a lot of potential in this school story that I saw working behind the scenes, and I wanted to give something back to the Lancer Nation that has given so much to me. So my original plan was to write a business plan and a redesign for a 12 foot by 20 foot space, and it had four tables and chairs and um, different food that could be brought in. So after months of working with this idea, it was pitched to a greater scale. So now there is a 22 by 30 space that was given to further the Lanto Walker. Um, so in the past few months, it has been passed for the summer of 2016 that um, a classroom as well as the original space of the Lanto Walker will be given to make the Lanto Walker larger. Um, so I wanted to thank Mr. Chicarello and Mr. DeClue and Mr. Cloud for helping me um, get through a lot of the tougher parts of donating um, a lot of the supplies. And I wanted to thank Mr. Green for being my mentor for my project. I just want to formally invite you back next next uh, spring so when we break ground that you can grab the sledgehammer and be the first one to take a swing to knock that wall down.
he's like a good mentor and an easy person to talk to when you have no one else to talk to. And graduating high school in three years, you lose a lot of friends because you have to focus on summer schooling and like staying up late, finishing classes online. Um, so I just really wanted to give something to me and to the students in the high school for them to have a place to talk and be able to feel like it's safe and know they can that's where to go. And I had the pleasure of working with Mr. Branch. Oh, you can come up.
competition, which is a middle school, high school, and college robotics competition. We designed the robot using CAD software, we built it, spending way too many hours in my basement, and programmed it, and we went to three different competitions in New England, and we got invited to a competition, the state competition for New Hampshire, we couldn't make it. And we had a lot of fun learning. We have another different robot set up over at our table right over here. You can feel free to come over and drive it and learn what it's like to drive a robot. My name is Alex Hawk. Um, I redid the school district website. I created templates for um, the district site and for each of the six schools. I had worked previously with Mr. McLeod, so I knew what the project entailed, and I was really excited to jump in and, and get to it. Um, the new design is mobile friendly, touchscreen friendly, um, and so I'm just I'm really excited to get it out there it took I think in the end like a hundred and two hours yeah so a, lot of planning. a lot of planning a lot of that little nitpicky stuff but so is this what you want to do? yes I'm going to UNH for computer science uh, my name's Nicole Calhoun and my senior project was making ceramic bowls for the dairy community caregivers of the greater dairy area which is an organization that helps elderly and people who cannot like maintain regular stuff at home. Like they can't like clean that much anymore. And they just like also give them equipment, like the loaner's closet. And then they do the potter's bowl. <laughs> and they just collect bowls from artists and schools to sell for the charity. And that's Plus, she also volunteered for a whole year as a um, volunteer helping an elderly lady at her home, um, doing chores and whatever she needed done, etc. So that was also a big part. Yes, I always forget. <laughs> you always forget. Yeah. <laughs> and how long did it take you? Um, I started volunteering in the summer of like last year. 
and the bowls were primarily this year and a few from like last year from class. So what is that? My name is Sophie Mirages and my senior project was painting a mural um, of quotes um, next to Mr. Jester's room who runs the Pantene Beautiful Links event every year and we picked these quotes to um, inspire people and encourage them to donate and I got a group of about five artists or four artists and myself to come paint these quotes on April vacation and hopefully um, when people come to donate to Mr. Juster, they'll see how important it is to you know, get out there and donate or be a part of it in some way. It took six hours and uh, Mr. Juster made, gave us lunch and we all got up there with pencil and ladders and we covered the lockers with tarp because we did get paint on them, <laughs> but we got it. And, um, and yeah, and Really, it's the artists that, you know, made all this possible because I do not have good handwriting on these walls. These walls are hard to paint on. Like, I thought I was going to paint on these walls, mm -hmm. but these were so much smoother and easier to write on and way more manageable. So, yeah, and the plaques. And we have beautiful plaques donated by um, Crown Trophy. And we have two of them. That's, this one's in blue, and the one on the opposite side is red and um, it just basically explains the project. My name is Abby Gilcrest and I created this bench for Mimi Johnson to sit and chat with students and create a comforting place. Um, I graduated high school in three years so I lost a lot of friends and now I have a place to meet friends and talk to people and other people can join from it. I'm Chris Mungs and what we did for our senior project was we built a VEX robot and competed in competitions and for this competition um, we, well our main goal was to pick up uh, pretty much square objects and put them onto posts. What we have right now is a robot that is able to pick up balls and drop them into a crate. And during this project, a uh, secondary goal was to inspire kids to get interested in science and technology and um, just help them build a better career for the future. <laughs> My name is Emma Breslow. And my project is researching and teaching others about the Finnish language and culture. Um, I spent the past summer living in Finland with a host family and then I wanted to spread what I learned because I realized that no one knows anything about Finland even though it has one of the best education systems in the world as well as having a language related to almost no other. Um, actually shows it here. This is most of the languages and Finnish is all the way over there. I taught some high school and some middle school students about the Finnish language and culture. So, so what would you like to do when you graduate? Linguistics. Oh, nice. I'm going to try to, well I'm going to go into linguistics and currently my thought is to find endangered languages, languages that are dying out, and research them and preserve them. My name is Kelsey Jacobs and I held a Pantene Beautiful Ink donation at the Bamboo Hair Salon in Londonderry for girls who couldn't make it to our donation here at Londonderry High School. So I had people from my work, whippersnappers and hair salons around town help donate and a bunch of people from outside who couldn't make it to our event and they all came and donated eight inches of hair or more and we sent it out to all the Pantene Beautiful Length girls and they were very happy for, with what we did. Hi, my name is Alexandria Brunel and for my senior project I redesigned the school store in my high school um, and I did it because I saw a lot of potential in the school store that was there and a lot of the sales were decreasing so I decided to do something about it. So I created a 22 by 30 space to give the students a place to be during their free period. Yes, this is the original space, and this is the original plus the classroom that I'm getting as well. I am Rebecca Fondo, and my senior project was the design process of a prosthetic arm. And the reason why I did it is because I have always had an interest in bioengineering, which also does include the prosthetic parts of it. And I am actually going to college for that, and I'm really excited to get started. So I'm Eric Bean. Um, for my senior project, I manufactured my own bagpipe chanter. 
Um, so I started playing the bagpipes when I was five years old. Um, my grandfather was a piper, and uh, he passed away when I was five, and um, I decided to start playing after that. So, um, so I've always wanted to make my own chanter, um, and uh, so I decided to do it as my senior project, and it ended up being a lot more work than I expected, but it uh, came out pretty good, and um, it was a lot of fun. Long process, but a lot of fun. It took pretty much the whole year. I started researching um, probably around this time last year, um, and ever since then, like, yeah, I learned that it was a lot more complicated than I had expected it to be at first. Making the reamers here was one of the most complicated parts of the project. Um, most uh, manufacturers have them made in like in Asia somewhere because it's cheaper um, and it's still about $500 a reamer. Um, so I decided to go ahead and try to make my own and uh, it came out pretty good. A lot of work. It took about a whole month to make the three of them. Um, and then it worked out um, that uh, Gibson bagpipes uh, moved from Ohio to Nashua, New Hampshire. And so the company helped me out a lot in the process and um, helped me make my chanter at their shop and had one of the guys helping me there. So um, that, that worked out and uh, it's a lot of fun. Hey, I'm Sophia Smard. Oh, and I'm Alicia. And we painted an outdoor mural in order to beautify Londonderry High School's school grounds. And we did this in order to create, like, bring a community together and make a positive impact on blank walls and add a splash of color. This is on the, right beside the football field, right below the lacrosse field um, in our school grounds. Yes. Oh, right here? Yes. Oh, this is cool. Anything else you want to talk about? How long did um, it take you? This took us about a month and a half to paint. Um, we went after school every day. Um, yes, we, we our ritual des designs happened in an art camp over the summer, and they progressed when we collaborated with a muralist named Matt Dean.